after a day of press conferences, the show floor at CES 2017 is finally open, which means we get to get our first glimpse at all the exciting announcements that we heard yesterday. Of course, there was plenty to see from the so-called Big Four, so keep watching for highlights from LG, Sony, Samsung and Panasonic. Panasonic's press conference was a rather low-key affair when it comes to hi-fi and AV announcements, but a trip to the stand showed there is plenty for the company to shout about over the next 12 months. For a start, it announced a new flagship 4K OLED TV, the EZ1002, a flat-screen TV that follows on from last year's curved effort. It supports the latest HDR format, Hybrid Log Gamma, alongside the standard HDR10, and promises to output more than double the peak brightness of a conventional OLED panel. Sound hasn't been forgotten either, with a dynamic blade speaker array offering no less than 14 drivers built into the TV stand, all of which have been tweaked by Panasonic's sister company, Technix. We're not expecting it to be cheap, but it'll be available in June. Elsewhere, we clapped eyes on Panasonic's two new 4K Blu-ray players coming to the UK, the DMP UB400 and the UB300, both of which will sit below the two current models, which are continuing. Both support the BT2020 set of video standards, meaning they're future-proof to handle 8K video, and come with full support for 4K streaming services, high-res audio playback, and an upscaling engine for SD and HD content. There's no official word on pricing just yet, but they'll be cheaper than the current UB700's £400 price tag. Good news for those feeling priced out by the players currently on the market. Also bringing better value this year is Technix, which is launching a new turntable that'll be cheaper than last year's £3,000 SL1200G. Even better, the 1200GR claims to offer much of the same tech as its pricier sibling, but it's described as the standard model rather than the reference tag the original carries. No word on pricing just yet, but we'll keep you updated. Sony had a lot of catching up to do this year, and it's done so convincingly, with several big announcements that we're hoping have been worth the wait. The biggest of all of these was Sony's Bravia A1 OLED TV, available in 55, 65 and 77 inches, with support for Dolby's HDR format, Dolby Vision. Perhaps most interesting of all, though, is the new acoustic surface technology, which allows the set to do away with speakers and output sound directly from the TV screen itself by vibrating the panel. An interesting concept that we're really looking forward to testing out. Sony also announced its first 4K Blu-ray player, the UBP X800, created in partnership with Sony Pictures. While picture quality is of course top of priorities, there was also a firm focus on delivering good audio, thanks to split audio and video signals for a purer sound and support for high-res playback. We're expecting it to launch for around £400 in the spring. Despite the fact that most of its competitors have been releasing Atmos-capable products for a few years, Sony has so far held off, until now. We got to see its first Atmos soundbar, the HTST500, which promises a 7.1.2 channel experience from a single box, alongside its first Atmos-capable AV receiver, the STR-SN1080. Expect them to cost £1,500 and £650 respectively when they launch in the next few months. Over at Samsung, it wasn't quite as jam-packed with new products as elsewhere, but alongside a new 4K Blu-ray player in the curvy shape of the UBD M9500, we did get a good look at the flagship QLED TV range, which sits at the heart of its 2017 AV campaign. Claiming to be a more advanced version of the quantum dot technology used in Samsung's SUHD models and offering a brighter picture than OLED can manage, QLED promises to deliver better colours, higher contrast and improved viewing angles. Plus, they look pretty nice too. Flat screen fans can choose between the Q7 and Q9 models, with a curved Q8 model also available. Shipping starts in February, so we're hopeful for confirmed prices soon. So while Samsung is still holding back from OLED, LG continues to throw itself behind it, with a 10-strong lineup of OLED TVs coming our way in 2017. The most exciting of all of these is the flagship LG Signature W, which at just 2.57 millimeters is so thin that it can be hung on a wall using ultra-slim magnetic brackets. It also comes with a separate upward-firing Dolby Atmos soundbar, though the whole range will have Atmos capabilities built in, the first TVs on the market to do so. LG hasn't forgotten LCD though, and it was also showing off its three new LCD sets, all of which use nano-cell technology, tech that aims to deliver improved viewing angles and top-notch colour reproduction, and they certainly looked promising on the stand. All of LG's OLED and LCD ranges will support four, yes four, types of HDR, including HDR10, Dolby Vision, HLG, and the upcoming Advanced HDR from Technicolor to ensure your TV is absolutely future-proofed. LG also peeled the covers off its first 4K Blu-ray player, the UP970, which offers support for Dolby Vision as well as HDR10. Good news since LG and Dolby also announced that the first Dolby Vision Blu-ray discs will be coming later on this year. 
a big year for OLED and 4K Blu-ray then, and a really exciting lineup of TVs from all four of the manufacturers, all of which we'll be getting a closer look at over the next few days. For that and more from the show, be sure to head over to whathifi.com and leave us a comment below to let us know which bits of kit you're most excited to see when they hit the shops in the next few months. For more from CES 2017, be sure to head over to our social media feeds on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.